how we doing, fellas? It's your boy Margos kicking it off here. Tight Tuesday. Uh, for y'all that don't know about this segment, uh, it's one of my favorite ones. It's, it's about close games. You know, just keeping it keeping it uh, down to the wire kind of games where maybe one or two actions determine the outcome. Not a spectacular. If you want spectacular, come by tomorrow. Tomorrow's all about the spectacular. Tomorrow we feed you, we feed your thirst for 50,000 kills in a game. What's up, man? Sorry. That guy isn't hardcore, or else I would have popped that fool. Uh, Grant just come over here, pop him, and then this guy takes me down. Do want to talk about something, though, um, in this segment. I want to talk about the S12. I think uh, guns, like everything in life, they get a reputation. Uh, you know, throughout the game, people play with them. They don't like them. Eh, it's not a good gun. Okay. I heard the S12 is a pretty bad gun. I just come over here, one shot, one kill. Right there. <laughs> oh, man, you got to find snipers that just aren't paying attention. I walked right by that guy. I don't, well, he must... Uh, he must have just been looking at the at a different side. Either way, though, the S12. Uh, I run it with the long barrel and the the red line of sight thing, the red uh, red laser thing, whatever you call it. I never know what the hell you call that thing. Uh, either way, though, it works. Look at that EMP grenade in there. Just in case if you're trying to summon an objective over there, you can throw C4, you can throw EMPs in there. It's a jolly old time, those windows coming in here. Man, just drop the C4 package over there. Going to push up over here because I figured this guy came. Boom, S12. So, the S12 is a kind of shotgun that got a pretty bad reputation. Uh, in terms of shotgun, you know, the Remington's king. And I see a lot of KSGs. Uh, some people like it, some people don't. I'm going to start using it soon. Hopefully, I'll be able to get some uh, some footage for these guys up. I just wrapped up this uh, S12. Uh, just wrapped it up the other day, actually. So, we're going to start off with the KSG, see what that's about. A couple of times I have used it in sharpshooter and whatnot. I've enjoyed it. So, we'll see what it is. I think it's a little bit ridiculous, the range on it. But, hey. Uh, that's life. Uh, but the S12, the main gripe about the S12 that I hear is that it's not a one-shot, one-kill. Okay, uh, it isn't a lot of times a one-shot, one-kill. Um, but it's a semi-automatic shotgun. You keep pumping out more bullets into that guy, and he will die. Try to sneak in that hunter killer right there. Unfortunately, all pushed up over there, get through that skylight. You know, nine times out of ten, they won't be aware of that, so you'll be able to get them. I was the one time out of 10 I'm bringing you. That's why this is tight Tuesday. I mean, we down by, what, 10 right now? Mm-mm-mm. Not pretty. Getting a text message over here. All right, we're going to look at that later. Throws a package over here. Managed to get one. Then this guy catches me right here while I'm pulling out the EMP. No! Oh, good kill. Good kill. Never throw EMPs or throw anything while there's somebody in front of me. First, you want to take care of that. Hunter Killer thought I was coming after me. Throw again the EMP. Mistake number one. And this time, I managed to get away with it. So, the S12. Uh, long barrel red, uh, red line of sight. I really recommend that for it. Uh, without it, it's not that great, to tell you the truth. Uh, it just doesn't feel so good. A fast mag would be a pretty useful attachment to run on it as well, because it does take a long time to reload. But you got 10 bullets to play around with, you know. Uh, I, I don't know. I feel really comfortable with this gun. I really like this gun. Full disclosure, I'm a big S12 guy. Uh, normally when I'm done while uh, working through my guns, you know, I'll just get rid of the class or substitute it with another class. Uh, this S12 class stayed, though, because I had a lot of good games with this. I had a lot of fun. Now, part of it's picking your maps. You don't want to go S12 and on Aftermath. That's not going to work. Matter of fact, you don't even want to play Aftermath. But if you do have to play Aftermath, don't go on with the S12 in it. Uh, for that, you want to have an assault rifle, SMG, I guess, an LMG will work, even a sniper. Uh, Shotgun is a little bit difficult on that. I stick to my shotgun and maps. Standoff, grind, raid on occasion, slum on occasion, uh, you know, hijacked on occasion. Maps that are pretty small and contained where you could get up to somebody's grill pretty easily. So, in those maps, I find the S12 to be pretty effective. Uh, sure, you gotta pump them with lead. That's why they gave you 10 bullets for it. And then you gotta make sure that you reload. Okay. You get the C4, like I do right here, for the long range kills. Uh, you know, anybody who's too, too far away, toss the package at him. No worry. Like that guy. Anyone who's closer, you S12 with him. And you play with that dynamic, and you stay in close corridors. Uh, I mean, you got to know how to use the map in your advantage for any weapon that you have. And same with the S12. A Remington, you, I think you get a little more leeway with, you know, because it does have that one-shot, one-kill capability pretty easily. So you can make a couple boo-boos here and there. You could be outside all of a sudden and run into somebody and manage to pop them with the Remington, especially if you got a long barrel on. With the S12, you can't make that many mistakes, but nine times out of ten, you're going to pop that guy, especially if that guy doesn't have toughness. I mean, you run up to this dude putting in two, three shells from an S12 in him, he going to go down. Like this dude, he, he going to go down. They ain't, he just ain't going to keep walking. Throw the sentry guard over there, throw the package. No! 
That's why it's a tight Tuesday and not uh not beautiful Wednesdays or majestic Thursdays or style style Fridays. This is tight Tuesday. We make mistakes, man. You gotta be careful with the, when you throw those packages, man. Uh, a lot of times you sacrifice speed for accuracy. Now, this guy I'm seeing he's coming over here from my right side. No sir, can't allow that. A lot of times you sacrifice speed for accuracy. And what I mean is, you know, you want to get that package off so quickly that that was a nice hunter killer right there. Saw my team it was dying, managed to get him. Speed for accuracy. So if I get the statement out. Uh, you manage to uh you manage to want to throw that C4 so quickly in order to save you that you don't calculate exactly where it is. In that case, I'd rather have him earn that kill by shooting me through that corner than just give it to him by blowing myself up. So I definitely should have taken that a little bit slow. Tag ball game right here. Managed to get his tag. Trying to step up, throw the package. Unfortunately, don't get him. Come on, let's break through right here. Run with the small kill streaks. Uh, I occasionally run a VSAT when I'm using the shotgun. Uh, it's pretty effective in kill confirmed to do that. Uh, I managed to get one, two right there. Turn around on this fella. Hold up, hold up. Let's drop the package. Boom, you see mad dots, just throw a package, it'll take care of it. Occasionally I do manage to do get the VSAT, especially in kill confirmed. TDM, I would definitely not run uh run anything big with a shotgun, it's pretty tough. Uh, but in kill confirmed, yeah, go ahead, you know, because nine times out of ten when you get the kill, and I picked over here, turn one, two, and then the other two came from the other side, unfortunately. That's okay. Uh, I'm gonna throw the lightning strike over there, see if we get anybody. So uh, you're going to get a lot of tags right here when you get these kills with the shotguns uh, because you're right up in their grill. You're just going to walk into the tag. It's not that you're even going for the tag. You'll, you'll have the tag. It'll just come up. You know, you'll get a buck fifty for every kill instead of the just the fifty and then having to find the buck somewhere else. Um, so that's pretty good with the, with the shotguns. That's why I think they're really useful, especially in game modes like Kill Confirmed or mode like Hardpoint. Pretty useful. Now, I want to talk about this lightning strike I dropped right here. Uh, an effective lightning strike usage, if I may give you a... Uh, my May 212 you on uh, on the lightning strike. 101 you on the lightning strike. Drop over here, wait for this guy to come. So if you notice what I did with there with the lightning strike, I laid it out, you know, one, two, three where the dots were, a little bit ahead of him. Okay. And then I waited for the first dot to come, blow the guy up, and then I pushed in. A lot of times what I'll do, and what a lot of people do, and it just happens, it's just human nature, is that this guy's coming over here thinking I'm in the corner. Nah, bro, we don't play that. We don't we don't we, don't, we can't stay in no corners. Get that itch, we gotta move. Managed to get them right there. And then there's one more, Marcos. There's, there's one more. Might want to turn around and see him. Nope. Okay. Don't worry about it. Tight Tuesday, man. Um, a lot of people, what they'll do with the lightning strike, they'll run right into it. You know, because they just expect it to drop and it won't hurt me. Be patient, man. Relax. It's all right. It ain't going nowhere. Thought the S12 was going to finish that guy off there. It didn't. Um, it ain't going nowhere. It's, it's all right. Wait for that first one to come, then you can push up. Once you get past the first one, the other two won't get you. Unless you're some sort of speed demon with extreme condition, you'll be all right. Um, but I do that a lot, you know. I want to go in there, make sure I get that tag, make sure that the teammate didn't get the tag, make sure that they don't respawn in there real quick and get their own tag. Um, but you got to be cautious with that. Uh, use the lightning strike, but use it effectively. Know where you're dropping it. Have some fun with that. Uh, staying over here in the middle right now, trying to finish this game off. Up 13 right here, managed to break through right there uh, with the lightning strikes and a couple kills. So enjoying this. Throw that. Didn't expect to get the two piece. This guy's shooting my boy down there. I'm like, hold up. I got to go finish him off. Which side? One, two. Okay, now I read that here before, so I got to be real careful. He gets me again, man. My man laughed at level 15. This guy's demolishing me. They spawned me close. I'm like, I probably shouldn't go after this guy, but hell, I'm going to do it anyway. Throw the EMP over there. I know he's still somewhere in here. Throw the C4. I don't see it. I'm like, hold up. Where'd he go? Did he push up this way? Push up there. Oh, laughter. Oh. Come on, S12. You let me down here. I mean, I thought those were two headshots. I thought it was good for go. But, hey, pushed up over there. I'm going to leave him. Then give him the package. He's got flat jacket. Good for you. And I was already hurt, so he managed to kill me. So I'm trying to I'm trying to blow this game right here. I'm trying to make this really into tight Tuesday by spotting him some kills here. Garrick managed to get the V-Set right here. I'm playing with my buddy Garrick, so managed to put up the V-Set right there. And full full disclosure, we're going to pull this game out. Thank, thank uh, the Lord, baby Jesus. Uh, so this video is coming up to an end here real quick. Make sure you subscribe to the channel, man. Like the video. Give him the package right out over there. Then dips in and dodging around over here, man. So many battles take place in circles in this game. My Lord. So like the video, share it with your friends, family, let everybody know what we're doing here. Hope you enjoyed it. Tomorrow we got Wasteland Wednesday. I'm not sure where we're going tomorrow. Where we going tomorrow? We going? I think we're going to the back to the slums tomorrow. I'm not sure though. Double check tomorrow. We'll check it out. Hope y'all enjoy this video, man. Hope you learned a little bit something, something, something. Gonna give this guy the package right here. Then the <laughs> the uh, the tag disappeared in front of me. I was so confused. I was like, hold up, man. What's going on? Pick up his gun. 
Dip some dude Dunkaroo out here and then try to pull out that 12 again. Trying to get fancy. Can't play that, man. All right, man. Hope y'all enjoyed the video. 44 19. Have a good one.